Yo, what is going on in this video here? So we have the patch notes for April 6th. Uh, actually, we're getting three new heroes this update. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at the patch notes and let's see everything that is coming. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first hero, let's, we'll go over the heroes first. So the first hero is going to be an SR. Uh, guys, there's going to be a Hawk Pass coming. It's the way you're going to be able to obtain these units. So going to the news right here. Patch notes, notice right here. So uh, let me go back. Update and events. Update notice. Here we go. And here, let's take a look at the uh, patch notes first. And then we'll go into the heroes and move on like that. So new events added. The tree which grants true love. Hawk Pass event and Hawk baby book okay I don't, I don't know what the baby book is uh, see the translation between global and shape you're kind of different so i'm gonna take a look at what that is new heroes added uh fairy helbrum yes finally getting helbrum uh death pierce is coming and dogetto is coming so sr dogetto ssr death pierce and ssr helbrum uh i believe death pierce and dogetto are going to be obtained from the hawk pass uh new bundles added hawk pass special uh forest guardian a fairy king bundle and then melody custom custom sets okay and then new custom edit you are a fairy king captain you get 30 diamonds if you purchase that outfit i believe uh so that's not bad at all now let's take a look at the other stuff here this is the new heroes update notice events do we have the actual like hawk pass the hawk pass do we have the hawk pass i'm not sure i'm taking a look here pick up uh guardian fairy king april 2 Oh, there's so much stuff. What the heck? Do they drop the load on us? Nobody was expecting to actually get uh, new heroes this week. And look at this. We literally just got uh, three new heroes. I don't know why I'm on Twitter. Uh, three new heroes coming. That's actually kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, pick up draw event. Oh, it's going to be Green King and Helbrum on the banner. This is going to be the banner that's coming out. So it's going to be Red Helbrum and Green King on the banner. Very interesting. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's actually... Hmm. And is this the... Uh, what's the baby book? Okay, that's the... You can get Awakening Stones. Not bad. Uh, clear missions to get SSR Hero. Is this the Hawk Pass? Yeah, it is. So here is the Hawk Pass. Okay, uh, the Hawk Pass. Let me talk about it for here for a second. If you, are a, if you spend any money in the game and you actually do want to spend money in the game... The Hawk Pass is probably one of the best things to purchase if you're going to purchase anything. I mean, you get a free SSRs for purchasing the Hawk Pass. Now, it's going to be free for people as well. I mean, you you do get these uh, free the normal rewards if like you don't purchase it. But if you do purchase it, you also get the normal rewards plus the special rewards. And it's definitely worth it in my opinion. You get a Part 1 SSR ticket, a pendant, you know, you get diamonds, you get the SR, you get the SSR uh, Death Pierce. Which, I mean, Death Pierce right now, early meta, is going to be really good. The Hawk Pass works exactly like if you guys played Fortnite, it works exactly the same as the Battle Pass. It's gonna be like seven or eight bucks. You purchase it, and you get all these rewards by completing missions. If if I were to like say anything you were to purchase in this game, the Hawk Pass would be like my number one thing I would recommend people to purchase because it is literally the best value for for your dollar. It's actually crazy good how good the Hawk Pass is. I mean, we get a free SSR. We get a free SSR from the Hawk Pass and I mean, yeah, uh, I, it, it's definitely worth it. Look at all these rewards, man. SSR pendants, two, three, three SSR pendants, okay. Uh, a bunch of diamonds as well, 10, 15 diamonds, a free SSR, a bunch of gold, a bunch of other, uh, other items as well. So, I mean, definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, SSR guaranteed ticket, uh, very good value, very good value. Okay, let's take a look at the new units here. Where is the new unit? Uh, here we go. This is the SR. <laughs> the SR. We'll look, we'll look at his super attack first. Let's take a look at his super attack. And then we'll move on. Let me let me pause this here for a second. Uh, let's go. Let's take a look at the super attack. Okay. Dogetto makes his appearance, bro. Dogetto makes his appearance. Look, look at what he does. I don't think he's that... I mean, he's okay of a unit. He's an SR. Uh, his first Nitro Rush inflicts damage equal to 450% of an attack to one enemy, prevents ultimate gauge from filling for two turns, so, I guess he's, I guess he's okay. He has, like, the green Meliodas attack skill. Uh, he's he's alright. And then second skill is 
Uh, inflicts ruined damage equal to 160, 240, or 400% on an enemy. And then his ultimate cancels buffs and stances. So, uh, Green Meliodas is no more, baby. Green Meliodas is no more with this guy. His passive increases strength attributes, allies, defense, relay stats by 30%. So, he can be put on a mono red team. And he would work pretty good, I guess. Okay. Uh, look, look at Hellbrum, dude. Hellbrum, yes. Let's watch his ultimates first, and we'll take a look at him. Okay, so this guy's going to be a big problem uh, coming out right now because, you know, Gother's out and King is free for everybody. So if you have Gother and you have King and you play a lot of PvP, uh, I recommend pulling for this guy and getting him because, I mean, obviously the uh, the King Brum team is going to be an issue. So what he does is inflicts damage equal to 120, 300, or 450 and depletes one ultimate gauge, one to three ultimate gauge turning on rank uh, two or three. Uh, he hits actually super hard as well. He's a red type unit. He is very uh, SSR. His uh, rank or his other attack skill, Stone Needle, inflicts 200, 200, or 250 with his rank 2 and rank 3. Uh, petrifying for 1 or 2 turns. And then his ultimate uh, cancels buffs and stances on all enemies. On, on all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 280% of attack. Um, that's actually very good. And then cancels buff and senses on enemies, inflicts 420% of attack if he is combined with the boy Gustav. So he does have a fate ultimate. He does way more damage on his fate ultimate. Uh, then his unique ability increases basic stats by 5% per each surviving ally. So super good unit. Um, he, he will be uh, very good in the meta right now on global. I would say one of the better units on global right now. So, Helbrum is coming out. This should be uh, pretty worrisome, pretty scary, not gonna lie. And then we have Death Pierce here. So, let's take a look at his super attack and we'll move on. Okay, so there he is, Death Pierce. He is going to be a Hawk Pass unit. Uh, I believe he's going to be added to the hero draw maybe after the Hawk Pass leaves. I don't know. Uh, what he does is rank 1, 220, 220, and 360. Uh, on his rank 2 of attack on one enemy, it disables buffs and debuffs skills for one turn. So basically, he can disable Gother's rank up. That's a buff, technically. He can disable Arthur's uh, you know, card as well. I mean... He's going to be, I don't know how well he's going to fit in the meta right now. Because personally, no, when he came out on JP, right, nobody used him. So I don't know how well he's going to fit in the meta. And then his uh, other attack is 180, 270, or 450 uh, to one enemy, no like special attacks of it. And then his ultimate inflicts 300% of attack on all enemies. It increases attack rate and stats by 30% for three turns. That's pretty good. And decreases all enemies' crit resistance and crit defense by 30%. His passive skill. Um, I can see this guy being ran with Jericho to kind of decrease the crit resistance and crit defense on enemies. And then Jericho can like easily crit and destroy. I don't know. We have to see. We have to see. He does have a, a carrot sword. If you feel his affinity to level 5. This is very interesting, man. I was not expecting, like... I was expecting for, like, a dry week, I should say, this week. I was not expecting... Death Pierce or Hellbrum or... Uh, three heroes, to be personally honest. So... I don't know. It's it's very interesting. Ooh, what is this? Gifts from the fairies. Three diamonds daily for 10 days. That's... Okay! That's 30 diamonds. Let's go. Hog. That's pretty good. 
And then what else do we have? Um, uh, melody costume. What is this? Costumes? Wait, lower. Ooh, the drip. Nobody should purchase these. <laughs> Nobody should purchase those. Clear missions and get SSR hero. This is the uh, death pierce like I already talked about. Let me know how are you guys feeling about this, man. I I don't know. I'm I, I like the hawk pass. Definitely like the hawk pass. Definitely gonna pick that up. Hundred percent worth it. Special events max of twenty diamonds. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We can get Elizabeth's um thingy right there. The uh ring. That's not bad. All right. That's going to be it for this update, man. Uh, very interesting. Honestly, super interesting update. Uh, three new units, three new heroes. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.